What's going on, world? Eric Lawton here from Battlebred Canines, the channel dedicated to the working dogs we all know and love. Today, I wanted to talk about the history and short breed standard of the German Shepherd. Before we dive in, don't forget to stomp on that like button and subscribe for more free content. Also feel free to visit BattlebreakK9s.com for updates and free downloadable content. So in 2018, a genetic study found that just prior to 1859, a broadly distributed group of European herding dogs had given rise to the German Shepherd Dog the French Burger Picard and the five Italian herding breeds, the Burger Masco Shepherd, the Cane Peritore, the Lupino del Gigante, the Pastore di Europa, and the Pastore del Lagerai. During the 1850s, attempts were being made to standardize dog breeds. Dogs were being bred to preserve traits that assisted in their job of herding sheep and protecting their flocks from predators. In Germany, this was practiced within local communities where shepherds selected and bred dogs. It was recognized that the breed had the necessary skills for herding sheep such as intelligence, speed, strength, and a keen sense of smell. The results were dogs that were able to do such things but that differed significantly both in appearance and ability from one locality to another. With the rise of large industrialized cities in Germany, the predator population began to decline, rendering the sheepdogs unnecessary. At the same time, the awareness of sheepdogs as a versatile, intelligent class of canine began to rise. Max von Stefanitz, an ex-cavalry captain and former student of Berlin Veterinary College, was an ex-member of the Phylax Society who firmly believed dogs should be bred for working. He admired the intelligence, the strength, and the ability of native sheep dogs, but couldn't find any one single breed that satisfied him as the perfect working dog. In 1899, von Stefanitz was attending a dog show when he was shown a dog named Hector Linksrein. Hector was the product of a few generations of selective breeding and completely fulfilled what von Stefanitz believed a working dog should be. He was pleased with the strength of the dog and was so taken by the animal's intelligence and beauty that he purchased him immediately. After purchasing the dog, he changed his name to Haran von Grafrath and later founded the Society for German Shepherd Dogs. Haran was declared to be the first German Shepherd dog and was the first dog added to the society's breed registry. In just a few decades of the society's establishment, the breed became one of the world's most popular and numerous, a position it has maintained to this day. By 1923, the Society for German Shepherd Dogs had claimed more than 50,000 members and more than 500 branches in Germany alone. Alone. When the German Shepherd was introduced to the United States, it was initially a popular dog, but as the dog's popularity grew, it became associated as a dangerous breed owned by gangsters and bootleggers. The reputation of a German Shepherd as a dangerous breed had grown to such an extent that it was illegal to import them into Australia in 1929. It was even decided that all German Shepherds were to be sterilized. That obviously never took place. According to the AKC, there are many reasons why German Shepherds stand in the front rank of canine royalty. Experts say their defining attribute is character, loyalty, courage, confidence, the ability to learn commands for many tasks, and the willingness to put their life on the line in the defense of loved ones. German Shepherds should be a gentle family pet as well as a steadfast guardian, but the breed standard says there is a certain aloofness that does not lend itself to immediate and indiscriminate friendships. German Shepherds are medium to large sized dogs. Males stand at 24 to 26 inches tall at the shoulder and weigh between 65 and 90 pounds, while females stand at 22 to 24 inches and weigh between 50 to 70 pounds. German Shepherds are longer than they are tall with an ideal proportion of 10 to 8 and a half. These dogs have a double coat which is close and dense with a thick undercoat. The coat is accepted in two variants, medium and long. The gene for long hair is recessive and therefore the long haired variety is more rare. Treatment of the long haired variation differs across standards. It's accepted but can't compete against standard coated dogs under the German and UK Kennel Clubs, while it can compete with the standard coated dogs but is considered a fault in the American Kennel Club. The FCI accepted the long-haired type in 2010 
again, listing it as the variety B, while the short-haired type is listed as variety A. Most commonly, German Shepherds are either tan and black or red and black. Most color varieties have a black mask and black body markings, which can range from a classic saddle to an overall blanket. Other color variations include the sable, the pure black, pure white, liver, silver, blue, and panda varieties. The all black and sable varieties are acceptable according to most standards. However, the blue and liver are considered to be serious faults, and the all white is grounds for instant disqualification from showing and confirmation at all breed and specialty shows. As a herding dog, German Shepherds are working dogs developed originally for herding sheep. Since that time, however, because of their strength, intelligence, trainability, and obedience, German Shepherds around the world are often the preferred breed for many types of work, including disability assistance, search and rescue, police and military roles, and acting. The German Shepherd is the second most registered breed by the American Kennel Club and the seventh most registered breed by the Kennel Club in the United Kingdom. So that wraps it up for the German Shepherd. Short breed standard, brief history. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to stomp on that like button and subscribe for more free content. Also, if you guys wouldn't mind giving this a share on Facebook, I would greatly appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Feel free to visit BattlebredK9s.com for updates and free downloadable content so you can read on the go. I'll see you guys next week. I love you all. God bless.